Hello and welcome to this presentation. I am going to show you how to easily add dimensions, datum levels in the drawing and add it afterwards. I start this example with a dimension command on the left toolbar. Firstly, I select line dimension from the table in additional function bar as well as I can determine various settings such as the pen thickness for the dimension text. I just need to select the line and an angular dimension appears. Now I switch option to multiple dimension via additional function bar. I can call additional settings table by clicking on the double arrow and in this dialog table for example set the automatic dimension text position type A. I pick two points and determine the position of a dimension line by moving it horizontally or vertically. I pick the next point to get vertical dimension chain with another click of the mouse. The sequence order is not important, the dimension points are always inserted into the chain. By clicking on the point again, dimension is removed from the chain. The dimension chain is ended with the three hand symbol. As the next example, I select the automatic dimension intersection line from the table in additional function bar and activate the option overall dimension. I draw a line through the beam openings and all intersected points are offered as dimension points. As well as I can insert additional points and end the function with the three hand symbol. Finally, overall dimension appears automatically. Another tool is slope dimension. I determine two beam points and an arrow is generated with a slope in degree format. As an alternative, percent, ratio or gone formats are possible. To add an angle, I need to use function angle dimension. By following steps in additional function bar, I can easily add degree of the sloped beam part. There is a circle in the beam and I will add a radius dimension which could be placed inside or outside the circle. Of course, we can edit all these dimensions afterwards via toolbar, modify individually in current function or with the mouse right button. Firstly, I want to add point to dimension chain. I select modify dimension, then Edit dimension points and after selecting chain, I can easily add or remove points. As well as dimension units can be changed and dimension unit added afterwards. If I want to add the height of the opening, I can do it with command second text. I just need to select dimension and enter the text. Second text can be activated before creating dimension line. Using freehand symbol, I can move chain and the key F4 switch off adjustment of the cross. It is possible to move whole chain or only dimension text. I use the left toolbar Activate Command Datum Levels and choose a new Datum Level String. 
first of all i determine the reference point and the height in this case plus minus zero and determine the position of the triangle and finally determine the point for datum level i can change the position of a triangle via position in the additional function bar and then continue by picking points of a new data level I can also change the data level type using the additional function bar. I can select on which side the triangle should be filled or empty. The text should be above or below. Data level can be easily moved by using freehand symbol move individually. If I change the geometry of the beam, all dimensions and datum levels adjusted automatically. If there are discontinuous lines in the drawing, to pick intersection I need activate intersection function with key S. In another example, I want to show the dimensioning of an isometric view. Firstly, I have to import isometric view from the cube correctly. Secondly, the angle of the cube view must be orange, otherwise we will not be able to put the exact dimension. Scale for isometric must be activated. And finally, using command isometric dimension, I add width and length of the foundation. In the last example, I want to show how to create dimension lines in reinforcement drawing. If it is impossible to snap, activate function automatically snap to rib points with the mouse right button. The same steps I repeat for mesh snapping. This is how we can use dimensions with Stracon. Enjoy!